This video was brought to you by Dollar Shave Club. Get top quality razors delivered to your door starting at just $1 a month. Link below in the description. Skip it up and that up. Man, ever since I've been doing this, I've never had one company, let alone one game, bring up so many newsworthy topics. It's just crazy. Thank you, Ubisoft. You need to screw up more of your AAA releases more often. I joke, I joke, I kid, I kid. So blah, 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 Assassin's Creed Unity, the frame rate sucks on all platforms, especially the PlayStation 4 and PC. It's actually a little bit better on the Xbox. When I talked about all that before, I'm not going into details. Again, I have other videos. You can check those videos out. But where shit gets interesting is that the gaming community has already figured out a fix for the PlayStation 4 and PC versions of Assassin's Creed Unity. You want to hear what it is? A user from Assassin's Creed subreddit seems to have figured out the issue. Now, you're probably thinking it's something super complicated if if the code teams and engineers over at ubisoft couldn't figure it out right well here's what he did to remedy the frame rate issue you ready putting your playstation 4 offline fixes the frame rate issues and he adds further optional rebuild the ps4 database by booting into safe mode that could also help too but you don't have to do that and it seems to have worked other subreddit users commented confirm that it works zero stuttering whatsoever and have been offline for 30 minutes now just tried it myself game actually ran pretty good there was the occasional dip but it was gone after only a second you are just awesome playing for a while now offline and frame rate is still not stable 30 fps but so much better than playing online thank you and last but not least confirm for pc at least for me anyone i turned off my wi-fi on my laptop and my fps doubled not just five frames more a second his frames per second doubled when he turned off internet when he was playing assassin's creed unity holy shit now, a lot of y'all say that I'm usually a negative Nelly, so I'm going to sound nice and calm and quiet when I criticize Ubisoft with this. Now, I'm sure Ubisoft, they tried really hard to make the Assassin's Creed Unity be nice and smooth, just like my ass. But they couldn't. They just didn't have that. They're working so hard to give us a AAA game. They didn't have the time to figure out these issues. So, um, thank you, Ubisoft, for trying so hard to give us a great game. I know it's such hard work, and I will still give you all of my money. Oh, tits on my ass! Are are you kidding me? You couldn't figure this out, Ubisoft? You didn't see this glitch with R&D before you released the game? The, the gaming community, the, the consumer figured it out in less than 48 hours. Less than 48 hours. You're telling me you didn't see this issue on your end when you're sitting there with the dev kits for the PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and PC? This is what pisses me off. This is just proof that they rushed it out. They either knew about this issue and didn't give a shit, or they didn't test the game enough and just wanted to shove it out the door and they'll deal with the problems later. This is why I get angry. This is why I get pissed off. If you want to know why, if you want to know why I'm such a negative Nelly, this is what pisses me off about the gaming industry. They just want your dollar and don't give a shit about the quality of the product. And this issue, something that's so easy to figure out, is proof of that. Come on, son. <sighs> anyway, folks, this is Rich of Review Tech USA. Make sure to rate, comment, favorite, and subscribe. And as always, thank you for supporting my channel. Have a good one.